Hello, my name is Matthew Randall and welcome to my notes on uh, Python for Maya. Uh, in this uh, short tutorial, all I want to do is really look at the um, poly select constraint command. Uh, and what this allows us to do is actually take the selection that we've done and then kind of filter it down uh, based on certain criteria. Uh, and it allows us to actually kind of say take objects that we selected so I can select, select these objects uh, and then maybe filter down perhaps what faces uh, of these objects or edges of these objects or, or vertices of these objects we have selected based on different criteria. Uh, now this can be quite useful if we want to just kind of examine the geometry, we want to find out uh, if there's any non-quads in our geometry, so triangles or engons, uh, or we want to find any poles in our geometry, okay? But you can also use it for all sorts of things of finding smoothed edges or non-smoothed edges, etc, etc. So in this example, uh, what I've done is um, I've just gone import Maya commands, uh, imported the Maya commands, and here what I'm doing is I'm using the poly select constraint uh, constraint um, command, and mode three just means select all of the objects that meet this criteria. Okay, uh, so I've got it on mode three, uh, and then the key thing is type. So type here is uh, zero x double zero uh, zero x is actually means select faces. Okay, I'll, I'll go to the reference in a moment, and we'll, you'll see this in the reference in a moment. But that means uh, the type of selection that we're doing is on faces, and then here size means that we're selecting faces that are triangles. Okay, which is basically the minimum size face you can have. Uh, of any kind of sense, right? Uh, great, okay. So let's just run this script and we'll see what happens. So with these objects selected, we're going to run the script. There we go. And you can see it selected the triangles. So you'll see the triangles, okay, faces that are on the end of this sphere. It's ignored all the uh, faces on these two objects because none of these are triangles, okay? So we'll do that again and I'll run it. You'll see it's selected those triangles, okay? And what we can also do uh, is we can actually uh, use, uh, then once it's constrained the selection, what we can then use is the poly evaluate command to actually count the number of faces that are then selected. Uh, I've saved that into this num faces variable, then I'm just printing that out as well. So we could actually tell the user if you want to uh, how many uh, faces uh, or how many faces or edges or whatever it is meet this uh, poly select constraint criteria. Okay. Um, uh, whenever you use the poly select tool, constraint tool as well, it's often useful just to disable uh, the constraint after. Uh, it might be sometimes the constraint kind of stays active, so it means that your selections sort of start to act a bit oddly if you don't put this command in. So it's always good to put this command in um, if you're using this. Okay, uh, it just means that you don't end up with your, your, you know selections being disabled for certain things, or uh, uh, for example. Okay, so. Um, Okay, um, so let's explore the documentation on this. Uh, so I'm just going to go into, uh, I think I've got it selected here. Yes, I have. So this is the poly select constraint tool. So obviously we had the mode. Uh, we set the mode to all. Okay, uh, let's see if I can just do, do like a half screen on this for you. There we go. So look, uh, try and reduce this. Or we can just close the outline and get rid of the outliner. There we are. Well, that gives enough space. There we go. Okay. So uh, we go to mode. Uh, so we can see we've got the mode is um, uh, three. So that means select all the items that satisfy the constraint. Then we go on to type. So I'll go down to type. And so you can see here that uh, this type here that we specified is for faces. And obviously you've got a, a type here that you can specify for edges and for vertexes as well. Okay. Um, the other thing that we're doing is we are specifying the size. So let's have a look at that one. Uh, size. Here we go. So you can specify the size here. So one obviously means triangles. Okay. So let's, if we change this, I go, hey, let's select quads. Okay. Um, Let's select our items. Let's run this. Okay, boom. 
can make that a little bit bigger there okay and you'll see that it's selected all the quads so that's all this, these sides of this cube none of this um sort of uh, football object here uh, and all the uh, and all the air uh, faces sorry faces except for uh, the the ones meeting up with the pole which are triangles on this sphere so it's selected all those quads for us uh, again we could go to size three and you'll see that it will select the n-goms so let's go to size three go let's press play here there we go and we can see it's selected all of these these are all n-goms as you can see they're all uh, more than four sides okay uh, okay let's run that again you can see it selects that for us okay and um, so let's imagine that we want to select poles then okay how would we do that well the type of object that we're selecting uh, so if I go to type so the type of object we're selecting is a vertex. So I'm going to change, keep mode three, but I'll change the type to 001. Okay. Um, and now in terms of doing vertexes, we're not going to specify it in terms of um, uh, in terms of uh, uh, using size. Size only really applies to uh, faces. So we're going to specify in terms of uh, let me just find it here. Uh, uh, orient, sorry. Um, uh, uh, sorry. Um, order bound. Okay. So this is the maximum number, the maximum and minimum number of um, owning edges. So what we want to do is we want to look at our, we want to look at, we want to specify a vertex um, uh, 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 which belongs to the most edges okay also belongs to edges within a certain number okay within a, within a minimum and maximum number okay uh, if that doesn't make sense we're going to type it out and hope that makes sense because we're using order bounds we also need to use uh we also need to turn um order on and set order to true okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go so we'll get rid of size and we're going to go right order equals uh, uh, one okay uh, to turn it on okay um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go um, uh, order bound okay um, uh, equals um, and I'm going to go uh, we want uh, we want uh, let's say we want to just select anything from zero to four so you want to select vertices that are not poles okay uh, 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 as a starting point let me just make this a little bit wider so you can see all the text in here here we go right uh, so I've got this object selected let's press play okay so it's selected basically all the vertexes uh, except the poles okay uh, because all the vertexes have between zero and four edges belonging to them okay so if I want to select the poles I've got to set this to at least five and then basically I want to select it up to kind of infinity so I'm just going to put a ridiculously large number in there okay uh, and then I'm just going to go and run it again and you'll see this time what it's going to do is it's just going to select the poles the top and bottom poles it's going to just select show us the vertices uh, which have the most um, uh, uh, which have um, more than four edges linked up to them so um, that's all the kind of examples I want to demonstrate there um, if we go back to the documentation so that's some examples of how we can use it to kind of select faces or vertices that meet certain criteria uh, if I go back to the documentation which is just here okay uh, if I scroll all the way down we've got some really interesting examples in here uh, that we can look at okay um, now I think what I have done is I've actually selected the Mel example so I'm going to just run that again the search again and I'll just pull up the Python one hopefully we've got the Python one now let's go to the bottom yes here we go so uh, and you can see that we've got all kinds of useful examples of different uh, selection constraints or filters that we might want to use things like you know finding holes in faces uh, 
uh, convexi convexity, uh, non-planar faces, etc., uh, etc. Et uh, I think you can use it to find um, uh, 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 non-manifold uh, geometry as well of various types etc etc so have a look at that and you can get an idea of different things that you can filter on uh, using this um, uh, poly uh, sorry uh, poly poly select constraint command okay thank you